So what I didn't get into in uh, volume two of the update was that uh, when I was uh, arrested by the uh, Randolph County authorities, I was actually had my hands over my head and they let the dog chew on me. He was on a leash and they let the dog chew on me for a little while. And then they uh, had me flipped over at multiple gunpoint and they said, get him. And they let the dog bite me one more time uh, for good measure. Uh, and one, you know, I, I immediately uh, requested asylum in the county. The sheriff was right there. Um, and I know the sheriff could have granted me that and uh, I told him look I've got evidence I can explain everything just let me sit down with you for uh, a few minutes and I can show you the evidence on my camera that the Beloit police were ha harassing me for over an hour and they smashed my window out and caused the fight-or-flight response um, the I was ignored I was thrown in a, in a jail cell without a working phone and, and and they accused me of breaking it okay so I was like an enemy combatant man I was like these people that they they, they throw in Guantanamo Bay for two weeks I couldn't talk to anybody uh, except for this one public defender guy that was the only people uh, only uh, only guy that they would let me talk to and uh, you know I, I was forced under protest and uh, under extreme duress obviously to sign extradition orders which sent me back to the last place that I wanted to go was which was Rock County and back into the hands of the authorities that I had been investigating for the last year. Um, th there's a lot going on here and uh, the cops uh, busted down my door uh, on April 30th and took all of my uh, all my equipment, everything that I had, uh, everything that had anything to do with Pyre Bang, all my recordings of the cops uh, that you know I let them know they were being recorded all the time and uh, they never objected to any of that which is consent by acquiescence um, and uh, you know them being unconstitutional not wanting to talk about the Constitution not wanting to discuss my rights but still wanting to talk to me um, they were able to get all of that they got uh, they got seventeen thousand dollars worth of my silver um, the prosecutor on the record uh, stated at my bail reduction hearing that uh, the cops didn't have any of my silver and both myself and also John William uh, are prepared to testify that, that they, there was silver. And uh, we we both called the police station, and the police station told me on Monday, when I, uh, the day after I got out of jail, that, that there was a list and that silver was on it. Uh, and John William also talked to them and and said and, and found out from somebody that searched the, the 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 house that yep that there was silver. So uh, the prosecutor lied on the record just to try and keep me in jail a little bit longer because you know he knows he's in trouble. So. Um, I want to get back to peace with all these people. I'm not looking to punish anybody. All I want is for these people to honor their oath. If they take an oath to the Constitution, uh, then honor it. And, you know, folks want to say, well, the cops have a right to protect their own safety by taking me and putting me in jail and then telling me what they want me for. Well, no. They, cops do not have a right to protect their own safety when it's at the expense of your rights. Okay, your rights are that you have a right to see a warrant signed by a judge before they can even lay a finger on you so that there isn't this miscommunication. Uh, you don't want to have uh, a, a situation where I thought uh, this was a Tim Turner thing where, you know, he wanted to come after me and, uh, you know, silence me and, and put me in an undisclosed location or something like that and have me declared an enemy combatant. Uh, by the Patriot Act and uh, you know obviously the Patriot Act is obviously just there to take care of Patriots like me um, I was silenced I've been pretty much silenced uh, Pyre Bang has been taken offline and there's barely been a whisper of, of protest from the public aside from some folks leaving comments on my YouTubes and folks I love you but your comments on YouTubes I can't read them when I'm in jail I have no internet access uh, what I need are boots on the ground I need people uh, you know other sovereigns helping me out and, and getting me out of jail uh, when, when that sort of thing happens um, and you know sending me letters uh, saying you know this is how to contact me this is how to give me a call this is how I can maybe help you out uh, with the law um, and uh, I mean who do you want bringing you the news. I mean, do you want these talking heads who are reading off their teleprompter, or do you want the no-holds-barred guys like me who are going to go after people, we're going to ask the tough questions, and we're going to get people to either answer them or get them on camera not answering so that the public can see uh, the, the, the corruption that is going on um, in our government. Now, uh, the FBI came down and talked to me at the jail. They didn't want to have uh, anything. You know, I was initially very happy to see the FBI. And, uh, um, 
in, during the conversation, I found out all they wanted to know is whether or not it was a threat to, to the governor. Now, I'm not a physical threat to anybody. I am a lawful threat to people if you want to uh, violate your oath, if you want to go against the people's rights, um, and I'm going to ask you questions, and you could wind up getting in trouble for that because uh, that's what the media is there for. We are the fourth branch of government, the media, and the, main, the lamestream media is not qualified to make that check you know I mean when Monsanto is supporting the news then is the mu is the news going to do a report on all the poisonous ingredients that Monsanto puts into their products that are killing people uh, just over a gradual long period of time no the people are not going to find out about that so it's up to the people in independent media to be that fourth branch of, of government that the check and balance that is uh, asking these people questions you're not going to get that from the lamestream media you're only going to get that from people like me so if you're willing to let them just silence me and put me away and 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 then i've, I've heard other people on my youtube's going oh he made his own bed let him lie in it okay i made that bed for you guys okay and, and yes i'm the one who has to lie in it but i did it for for us for all of us so that that we can live in a free country okay because what i see around me is not freedom and all of these guards, the guards in the jail, the sheriffs, uh, the, the sheriffs would not even investigate my claims, even though I claimed I, I charged Judge da the, the James Daly with a crime. I charged him with a crime of, of, of you know, of treason. I charged him with uh, kidnapping, uh, but they, you know, they didn't want to even investigate it. Uh, they just laughed it off and just figured, you know, he, he's he can't. Um, you know, he can't possibly be doing anything wrong, and, but they have an obligation to investigate, at least investigate my claims and sit down with me if I'm accusing anybody of, of a crime. Um, and they did not do that, so they were in violation of their oath as well. So I can be a crazy crackpot, but you got to at least hear me out, and nobody wanted to do that. Um, again, uh, right now I'm uh, literally uh, camping out in my backyard uh, because of this notice that's on my on my house about it's not fit for human habitation. So I'm afraid of getting arrested just for or staying in my house. I'm allowed to go in there and clean it up because it does need to be cleaned up uh, from being ransacked multiple times. Uh, there's no power and no water right now because the cops have all my money, uh, the, at least a good majority of it. Um, and uh, a, a good portion of that is Pyre Bang's money. So, um, you know, it needs to be, uh, Pyre Bang needs to come back. And uh, I was productive while I was in jail. Uh, I wrote this uh, novel. I think it's uh, very good information for anybody that wants to uh, get our country back because uh, it's been taken from us. And if you don't believe that, then just try and stand up to the powers that be and you'll find out what happens. Um, I thought my strategy uh, was a pretty good one, where I would make YouTubes, and I, I was, you know, the the, the president of Pyrebang, and uh, you know, I thought I was in a position, a media position, where I could uh, get out the news, and that they wouldn't try to do what they did to me, uh, because they would be worried about a public backlash, and uh, that public backlash has not come. It's it's been dead silent. There hasn't been a ton of people calling the Beloit Police Department. Uh, there hasn't been uh, a lot of people calling the court or the sheriff's department and asking them to honor their oaths. Uh, there haven't been any protests outside of the jail uh, or anything like that. I was uh, really just uh, forgotten and I faded away. And had I not gotten myself out of jail uh, with the help of a little bit of advice from my mentor, um, I would not be talking to you right now today. And if you want me to just fade away and then you're limited to just the talking heads, um, you know, then I guess that's the way it's going to be. So anyway, uh, like I said, I'll have my book online. I'm going to be selling it to try and raise money to hopefully get Pyrebang back up. Um, and we're going to change the way, change, change the, the way people are paid. We're going to go to a two tier instead of a 10 tier, uh, in order to appease PayPal. Um, and, uh, hopefully folks will make a little bit more money doing that and they can, uh, work full time in the freedom movement, and that was really what the what the idea of Pyrebang was all about was to get uh, part time patriots uh, working full time. So uh, if you have any information you want to talk to me about, it's 608-466-9361. Uh, I do have unlimited on my uh, on my phone, uh, so give me a call and let me know how you're doing, uh, and I'll talk to you soon.